What's up guys, Bunky here. Um, recording a video for Baru because he wanted me to make a, a How to Krieg video. So uh, in this video I'll be teaching you how to Krieg. First we're going to go over his spec and uh, weapons and gear and such and whatnot and awesome people and stuff. Uh, so this is a build. Uh, this is a pretty standard melee build if you think about it. Um, except for there's a couple gimmicky things in here like uh, light the fuse there. Uh, this is completely optional. You don't have to use this. Um, if you're going up against bosses, let's say, i.e. Saturn, or somebody that you know you're not going to be able to kill with explosive damage, um, then don't take Light the Fuse. Like I said, it's pretty gimmicky. Uh, everything has a reason in here. Um, I use a Rage Sickle class mod. However, if you're going for straight melee damage, uh, you probably want to use a Scream Sickle. Um, as well as a Roid Shield instead of the Rough Rider, but I use the Rough Rider because it gives me 20% damage uh, reduction and 95,000 more health. Uh, it also negates Redeem the Soul's uh, killing uh, power. It'll just leave you with a really low amount of health, so you can go into Release the Beast, and it doesn't matter how much health you have. If you have at least a little bit of health and you redeem somebody's soul, it will not kill you with the Rough Rider Shield. Um, so I have a purple rage sickle class mod gives me plus five into empty the rage and then plus four into silence the voices and then plus four into fuel the blood. Now, if you have fuel the blood and buzz X bomb uh, these two go hand in hand. You will, um, You'll do insane melee damage, but if you don't have Buzz Axe Bombardier, you will not get that melee damage. So, and that's what the throwing axe, and it's a it's a kill skill. Um, Blood Explosion is insane. What it does is it chains uh, a whole bunch of explosions, and each one getting more powerful. You can get up to 100 Bloodlust stacks, and that's 500% more damage uh, total. Um, Blood Trance is duration of. Uh, Rampage time, you can get up to 25 seconds of Rampage time. Um, depending on if you like being in BuzzX Rampage or not. Um, it, it's Everything's you can change to how you like. This is how I have my shit set up. Uh, Release the Beast is your main um, source of power. It's what you're going to be in 90% of the, 90 of the time. Um, so you don't need Fuel the Rampage because if you have this, your cooldown is instantly recharged and you can go back into BuzzX Rampage. Um, but you don't want to do that until you get below 33% of your health, so you can trigger Release the Beast and, and Chain Release the Beast. Uh, clearly, you need Pull the Pin for double XP. Not really. I just have this because who doesn't want to drop a grenade when they die and go, ha 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 ha. Uh, more health. This is for more fight for your lifetime, so you have more time to deal more damage with Light the Fuse. Salt the Wounds good because each health... Um, health damage you take, you gain a stack of Salt the Wound, and that's where the Rough Rider Shield also comes into play, so you get more melee damage for that. Uh, it decreases the time before Bloodlust stacks start to decay, which you have 2.5 seconds f um, until they start to decay. Uh, Taste of Blood is you get more damage reduction. You can get up to, like, I think, what is it, 100? I, th I think it's 100. I think you go... Yeah, because 50, so you get 120 plus the Rough Rider Shield while then release the Beast. Uh, that's just good for magazine size when you're outside of Buzz Axe Rampage. You fire your gun, you can slag a whole bunch of enemies. Get them slagged, uh, like with the Maggie, for example, or Hellfire, you can get a whole bunch of DOT on people. You keep firing the Maggie, and you get more Bloodlust stacks. I use a loaded Maggie, obviously. Um... A Hellfire, a Corrosive Conference Call for robots and various other things. And this is a DLC 4 weapon. Um, I just use this to slag, really. But you can have any other sort of slag, too. Baru likes to use a Ruby and then a Rapier because he likes to, outside of uh, Release the Beast, use uh, melee weapons, which I don't particularly agree with. But here's that Scream Sickle class mod I was talking about. Now, normally, you don't want the empty the rage skill in here. You want, uh, what is it, Feel the Blood, um, for even more melee damage when you throw a Buzz Axe. Uh, and I have a Might of the Seraphs. I think this adds maybe just a couple more thousand of melee damage. I'm not sure where this falls into the formula, but I don't have any other relics, so we're keeping it on. 
and then a longbow storm front because this thing builds stacks like no fucking other and it's amazing so let's see if I have assassinate the assassins here which I don't I've already completed it which is wonderful so we'll just go to south ball steam and power and I'll kind of I can't really explain the strategies I use um, when I play Krieg, but if you watch, you can kind of pick up on some of the strategies that I use. So let's go ahead and go to South Steam and Power. Now you want to get your Bloodlust stacks up quick, because that increases your Buzz X Rampage duration and your damage reduction. So we'll fill up on ammo right quickly. I'm seeing red. That 36 clip in the mech. Wow, this thing, 30 FPS is fucking terrible. See that? Exclamation mark? Okay. Never stop the killing. Never. Also, I guess the uh, biggest thing I kind of skipped out on was Silence the Voices and how it has a 12% chance to proc, just like you saw there. This is Light the Fuse, by the way. I don't think... This normally doesn't happen. <laughs> Okay. Let's see if I can blood explode. I'll show you. Okay, this is blood explosion. That's the definitely blood explosion. Where is it? Okay. Six million melee damage, which is good. It's wonderful. And oh, you see that? That little explosion there? That's blood explosion. And it will chain, and it is awesome. Get out of my head! And then I just blood exploded like everybody in the area, and it was awesome. And we'll go with this. So we can slag people. I have 16 stacks of salt the wound. Now I think what it is... Oh, right. I forgot to cover Silence Voice. You have a 12% chance to attack yourself, but you get massive melee damage from it. Um, I personally don't have issues with Silence the Voices that much. Um, I know a lot of other people do. It's one of those skills. You can, you can live without it, but with it you're going to be doing a lot more damage. So whatever, 7.5% times you know, 16, 15 stacks now they still the decay is... That's how much melee, extra melee damage I'm doing. Kill the little man. You can't get rid of it can also put you into the list of the beast range, which is amazing. 67 million damage on blood explosion. That's awesome. Silence of Voices also does have a chance to proc multiple times in a row, so be weary of that. I see meat muscles. Open your veins. Fifteen stacks, salt the wound. We did have a hundred bloodlust. Jump backwards. <coughs> Fucker. You can also critical with these throwing buzz axes. 
And they do a lot of damage. They also go on in an arc. So if you've got an enemy rushing towards you, you got to get used to the arc, definitely. Oh, look, ultimate badass nomad. Who is now dead. I also do play on PC, so it is a lot easier for me to, let's say, aim and turn better than console people. Take that into consideration when you're trying this. And you'd never want to do what I just did there, which is activate this way too early. Because then you'll be on cooldown, and being on cooldown sucks. But it's okay. It is definitely okay. But you see, when I go and I kill somebody, you can see down at the bottom right of my EXP bar that I get that little, this icon here, which means I have massive thrown melee damage. And in order to be really, really effective with it, you need to practice it. And it is going to take a little while, but you can do it. Um, like I said, the thing, it, it arcs. So it's kind of like getting used to the Nukem's arc, only it's not as bad. I would practice throwing it at certain objects, like if you activate Buzz X Rampage from, let's say, this distance, try and hit it on that, there. And if you can effectively do that, then you can try moving targets and all that. And look at this nub down here. Blood on the dirt. So anyway, that's a little introduction video for how to Krieg. Uh, like I said, it's you usually just play with Krieg and you get used to him over time and everything. But those are kind of the pros and cons. Um, the biggest con is Silence of Voices. I'm not denying it. I personally don't have a problem with Silence of Voices, but a lot of people do. Um, it's, this is the build that I use. It's pretty good. I enjoy it. And I don't know, a lot of people on the Borderlands community, you know, Baru, Goth, um, Mirror, a uh, bunch of other people, if I'm I'm usually the go-to Krieg guy for melee, melee Krieg anyway, and the go-to nurse. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was kind of informative for you. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you later.